It was dangerous work rafting timber down the Ottawa and St. Lawrence rivers to Quebec City during the 19th century. The Ottawa, in particular, had a lot of rapids and waterfalls where large rafts were broken into smaller cribs and then collected together further down. This created the risk of the cribs and logs getting tied up in the rapids, causing a log jam and forcing the loggers into dangerous efforts to get everything moving downstream. In 1800, Philemon Wright established the vanguard of settlement in the Ottawa Valley, near the waterfall named the Chaudière Falls. The river dropped 15 meters as it narrowed to only 60 meters, creating a significant obstacle to further navigation up the river. Starting in the 1820s, much of the pine extracted from the Ottawa Valley forests came from above the falls, creating a considerable amount of timber that needed to pass through this dangerous watery gauntlet. In 1829, Philemon's son, Ruggles, returned from a visit to Europe and introduced the idea of a timber slide to bypass the falls. The Wrights built the first slide on the north side of the river, in the following decades, timber slides were built throughout the Ottawa Valley, reducing the risk brought by log jams. The Wrights recognized that logging was more profitable than farming in this remote Algonquin territory, and they began cutting timber on indigenous land. Thousands more followed in the Wrights' footsteps, and the Ottawa Valley became a major source of British timber.